Hi there. Welcome to Microsoft Azure training series. My name is Neeraj Kumar. I'm a cloud evangelist and enterprise architect and I will be your instructor for this course. So here we are uh, on a fresh new tenant and I'm on my Azure portal and you can see that it asks me to upgrade because it is a free trial and if you go to the notifications it shows that i have dollar 200 credit remaining i would recommend uh, that you start with a free trial do all the practices and uh, do it if you are new or you can go for pay as you go so the first thing we are going to do is to go to the azure active directory here you will see that this is the azure ad free and uh, it shows the default domain name and we are going to create a new tenant and within that tenant we are going to create a new custom domain so we will create a new custom tenant so we will select the azure active directory for the directory type and then we will click on the next configuration and once we are there here we need to give the organization name so i will put the name as curari which is k u r a r i i and uh, the initial domain name so i'll put the same name and it will create a domain for me which is kurari.ownmicrosoft.com so once i have reviewed i'll click on create and it will create a new tenant for me and why is this required this is needed because i am creating the domain which i have on on premises and i'll then use the azure ad connect to synchronize all my on premises users to this particular custom domain name so to have a custom domain name i have created a separate tenant altogether i will wait for this to be completed and we will get back when this is done so this is done now and uh, we will go to that particular tenant so here we are on our curari tenant which is curari.onmicrosoft.com and now here we are going to create our custom domain so we will scroll down and here you see we have custom domain names we will click on it and then click on add custom domain we will give the same name as we have in our on premises so it is curari.com and once that is done we will click on add domain we are on a page where we need to verify that we own this domain name so i need to add a txt record or a mx record to the domain registrar dns where i have this domain name registered so we are on our dns of that particular domain name and here i'm going to add a new text record for the host name i'll give as @rate and the txt value i just copied from my azure portal once that is done i'll click on save i'll come back to azure portal after adding it generally takes up to 72 hours but we can check whether it has been done or not so we'll click on verify and yes the verification is complete and now i can use this domain name in our azure portal we'll make this domain name as primary and go back to that particular tenant so here you see that kurari.com has been added alongside the kurari.onmicrosoft.com and this has been verified and is as primary so this is how you add a custom domain name to your azure portal what i'm also going to do is to add a new user and make it a global administrator we will click on users and here we are going to click on plus new user on this screen which you see now for the new user i'm going to enter the name with the email address which is neeraj@kurari.com and then give this user's username which is neeraj kumar so once that is done i'll scroll down and uh, here i'll let the password auto generate and i will copy the password by showing the password so i'll copy it and i'll change it when i log into this account from the roles i'm going to choose global administrator first one is global administrator i'll check on that and click on select and once that is done i'll click on create now we have this user neeraj kumar as a global administrator and how do we check that i'll log out of this particular account and log back in using the account that i just created 
I am logging in through my new user account it is asking me for my old password and then I am forced to change my password the first time I log into. So I'm changing my password here and click on sign in. And I am on my dashboard. So I'll go back to the Azure Active Directory and there I can see the default domain name and I can also check the role of that particular user to which I have logged in. So I'll click on the name and then I'll click on assigned roles. And there you see that this user has been assigned the global administrator role so that this account can be used in the Azure AD Connect for the synchronization of the on-premises account to Azure. And that is how you add a custom domain name in Azure.